Let's talk about Caleb Williams, Justin Fields, and the Chicago Bears and what this team should do moving forward. Now, in the past, I have said that the Chicago Bears should stick with Justin Fields if they were not comfortable with Caleb Williams' style of play. I believe that Caleb Williams is a generational talent. Now, there are two bright sides of each point. If they stick with Justin Fields, they could trade the first overall pick. They could trade back, get a lot of picks for that first overall pick and continue to build a roster similar to what they did last season when they had the first overall pick and they traded it away to the Carolina Panthers. The difference in this class is that they were not comfortable with CJ or Bryce Young because they had Justin Fields and they wanted to give him one more season. And Justin Fields did not look bad this season. The thing that is working against Justin Fields, he's going to be up for a contract extension sooner than later. You're going to have to exercise that fifth year option. You're going to have to pump in to him and pay a lot of money to Justin Fields because he's one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the NFL. The Chicago Bears are in a very interesting spot because it's not usually a team that has a young quarterback that is still developing and could be a top quarterback in his division. And then they have the first overall pick as well. And on the other side of the coin, you have this generational talent and Caleb Williams won a Heisman Trophy just a year ago, had 42 passing touchdowns to five interceptions. He did have a down year this year, but he did not turn the football over as much. You have a lot of people that come out and say that that Caleb Williams turns the football over too much. He's a turnover prone quarterback. That's not the case. He does fumble the football a lot, but that's when the offensive line's not playing up to standard. And you look at the Notre Dame game this season, it wasn't pretty. Those three interceptions were bad, but he got sacked a lot in that game. He does hold on to the football for too long at certain points and times in a game. But the difference between Caleb Williams and Justin Fields right now, Caleb Williams is more of a refined passer inside the pocket than Justin Fields. Justin Fields would just run around to just go scramble and get some yards. The thing is with Caleb Williams, he's going to run around and he's going to try to go out there, get guys open and make a big play deep down the field. And he has the ability to go out there and pick up five to six yards as well with his legs. So you're not going to just be trading away Justin Fields for a complete statue. I believe that Caleb Williams is a better processor of the field than Justin Fields. It's been so many times this season. And you can say that it was because of Luke Getze. Right now you have Shane Waldron as the brand new offensive coordinator. But Luke did not put Justin Fields in the best situation. It was a lot of screen passes. And it was a lot of situations to where it was just a lot of one-read dump-offs. Later in the season when he came back from that thumb injury, we saw Justin Fields and what he could be with the team. And he was very explosive. But the biggest thing with Justin Fields as well He's not going to be able to stay healthy for an entire season. And we've seen this in back-to-back -back years so far. In 2021 was his rookie season. He did not play his entire rookie season. In 12 games played, he has seven passing touchdowns to 10 interceptions. But he also had 420 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. In 2022, 15 games played, he had 17 passing touchdowns to 11 interceptions for 2,242 passing yards. But he had 1,143 passing yards and Eight rushing touchdowns, 1,143 rushing yards, excuse me. In 2023, this season had just passed, 657 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. And you look at the passing yards, 2,562, 16 passing touchdowns to nine interceptions. And the biggest thing with Justin Fields, you look at those touchdown numbers in terms of passing. He's never had over 20 passing touchdowns in his career in the season. And that does bother me. Because one thing that you have to be able to do in this NFL is throw some touchdown passes. I understand that he's this dual threat quarterback, but we've seen it over and over again, especially early on in his career. When they take that run game away and they take away that option, it was hard for him to go out there and read NFL defenses on a consistent basis. But when you gave him DJ Moore and more weapons, he did look better. Cole Commit is a very good tight end with this team. He had over 700 yards receiving. Darnell Mooney, just a couple of seasons ago, had over 1,000 yards receiving. They can keep him around. The biggest thing with Darnell Mooney is that he can't stay healthy. That's the biggest thing. But if he can stay healthy, you could keep him, push him inside the slot. You draft another playmaker with your own first round pick. And next thing you know, you're working with something here. This is a hard decision. If I am Ryan Poles, if I am in his seat, I'm drafting my own quarterback. He did not draft Justin Fields. And that's one thing that a lot of people aren't talking about as well. Ryan Poles came in after Justin Fields was on this team. Ryan Pace drafted Justin Fields. Ryan Pace drafted Mitch Trubisky. And part of the reason why he got fired is because Mitch Trubisky didn't work out. And it puts a lot of fear in some Chicago Bears 
fans in their heart because they look at it from this situation. We just passed on Patrick Mahomes a couple of years ago for Mr. Trubisky. We have this Patrick Mahomes type of talent and Caleb Williams. Let's go with him. And I've said it over and over again. You have to be careful with that comparison. I compare Caleb Williams more to a, a refined Russell Wilson, a more athletic Russell Wilson that can go out there and that can fully carry a team on his back. The big thing with Caleb Williams this season, why did not look as pretty on film, why wasn't able to go out there and make those splash plays? Because defenses caught on to the play calling from Lincoln Riley. And that's not any that's not a knock on Lincoln Riley because he's been a phenomenal college coach. You look at the quarterback that he's coached up in the past, Baker Mayfield, Jalen Hurts. Kyler Murray, he's done a lot of good things in the past with those quarterbacks. I believe that Caleb Williams will be a star at the next level. But if I am Ryan, the general manager with this team, I want to go out there. I want to reset the clock. I would trade away Justin Fields for a third round pick and a fifth round pick. You could possibly get a second round pick for Justin Fields, but that would be the most that you would get with Justin Fields. I'm going to come on here right now. A team's not going to trade your first round pick for Justin Fields. I believe that the second round pick is too high as well, in my opinion. That's just me because we saw what happened a couple of years ago. The Carolina Panthers traded for Sam Darnold. They traded the second round pick. It didn't work out for that team. And Justin Fields is a better quarterback than Sam Darnold. He is, but at the same time, you're looking at a guy inside the pocket. He's still a project. And that's also a big reason why the Chicago Bears may want to move on. If they do move on from Justin Fields, you're not going to have that dominant run game. You're not going to have a top five to top ten run game in the NFL because Caleb Williams is a dual threat quarterback, but he is more so known for getting guys open when he scrambles around. Justin Fields is on the same level as Lamar Jackson of getting out in space and picking up his own yards. And that's a big thing as well with the Chicago Bears. And that puts another thing things to perspective as well with the hits that he has taken over the last couple of years will he be able to hold up for the next couple of years because we've seen with Lamar Jackson in the past even though he's awesome he's been an MVP twice before this season he struggled to stay healthy those hits add up you're getting a guy in Caleb Williams that plays the game more inside the pocket and he's going to be a more refined passer with this team I believe that the Chicago Bears are going to go with Caleb Williams because of the simple fact that Ryan Poles was in the building when the Kansas City Chiefs drafted Patrick Mahomes and they drafted their guy. You draft Caleb Williams with the first overall pick. You have another first round pick. You can go out there. You, get, you could get Malik Neighbors. You can get Romo Dunze or you could possibly trade up with the Arizona Cardinals and you can get Marvin Harrison Jr. It is a world to where. The Chicago Bears could possibly have Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison Jr., and DJ Moore. And if all those guys can hit, that can make them a playoff contending team immediately or for the next couple of years for sure. Because you look at that defense, that defense was strong. You have two very good linebackers and Tremaine Edmonds. You have TJ Edwards. They were a top rushing defense in the NFL. When they trade for Montez Sweat, he is that pass rusher that they desperate, desperately have been looking for for the last couple of years. He led the Washington Commanders and Chicago Bears in sacks. He's the first player in NFL history to lead two, to lead two teams. In the same year in sacks. So he's a phenomenal player. And you trade the second round pick to get him. And a lot of people were looking at Ryan Paul sideways. Because this is the same guy that went out there. And he traded for Chase Claypool. He traded the second round pick for Chase Claypool. For Chase Claypool and it didn't work out but this trade right here did work out for that team and you just paid Jalen Johnson a four-year deal as well that's worth up to 76 million dollars who's a top cornerback in the NFL and then you get to save more money and get and you get to pump more money into this team if you do trade Justin Fields because you can stack this roster up even more with Caleb Williams you can build that quote-unquote super team with Caleb Williams because he'll be on that rookie deal you can still build a very talented team around Justin Fields, but if he does hit this season with you, you're going to have to exercise the fifth-year option. You're going to have to pay him a lot of money. You just released Eddie Jackson as well. You're going to have to go out there and find another safety to come out and help with this team. This is a defense that is young. They're still developing, but they look very good. This could be a dangerous Chicago Bears team with Kayla Williams or even with Justin Fields. But right now, I believe that the Chicago Bears will go with Kayla Williams. And I've said this over and over again, and I'm going to say it one more time. I'm in favor of them going in and possibly trading the first overall pick. But if they are comfortable with Caleb Williams, you take him with the first overall pick because he is a more refined passer right now than Justin Fields. And to be quite honest with you guys, he could be a better quarterback than Justin Fields at the end of this upcoming season if he does hit that ceiling. The 
possibilities are endless with the Chicago Bears, and this is why it's one of the most fun teams to talk about right now because they can go in any direction. But let me know in the comment section below what side of the corner are you on. Keep Justin Fields, develop Justin Fields, and go with Justin Fields, or are you on the side of, you know what, let's go Caleb Williams with the first overall pick, trade Justin Fields away to a team like the Atlanta Falcons or to a team like the Steelers or the Las Vegas Raiders. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last, Wayne, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.